Everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. I've got good news. I stopped at Walmart. Look at all this Series 1 of 2022 tops. I'm going to pick up $100 of 2022 tops retail, and we are going to see what we can find. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and now let's go look for some wanders. All right, everybody, we're back from Walmart. It's time to rip open some retail. It's the retail review of 2022 tops. I honestly wasn't expecting to find this. I know that my cases of retail that I bought for my Patreon members, both the hanger boxes and the blaster boxes, are delayed about two weeks, a little behind schedule. So pretty happy to show you the uh, the blasters and the retail hanger boxes. We've got three of each we're going to rip open. These are all for me because I am trying to accumulate some 2022 Tops cards for myself to put together the set. And also, I want to find a Wanda Franco. Last night, I was breaking open seven jumbo cases. We actually got through six before our curfew and found a whole bunch of wanders, but none of them were mine, and I, I'd like to own that card myself. So we're going to rip through these. We're also going to talk about the odds. I've got some older um, boxes that we'll look at as we go through these and check out the odds and see just how much more they've been printing of 2022. So let's first start off. Before we get into the odds and everything like that, <clears throat> let's take a look at the hanger box we got 67 cards in the hanger box this is a 12 dollars box at walmart before tax 11.98 says look out for autos and relics we'll take a look at the odds here right now there's the odds the big number there is the gold is one in every eight that's kind of what i look at with these just to see how the print runs differ from previous years Anyway, odds no person that's necessary information there. If you'd like to uh, you know, read through that, you can pause the video. And here we go. The Wander Hunt continues in retail as I open some cards for my PC. Hey, Tampa Bay Rays team cards on the back. I'll take that one. That's, you know, has Wander on it. Pull that card in the jumbo break a couple times in a parallel last night. Personally, I do prefer the hanger boxes to the blaster boxes because it's less per card. Now, it's not that much less now nowadays. Walmart is charging $12 for a blaster when back in the day it used to be 10 I bet you you can still find these at Target for $10 because the blaster boxes were still $20. Comes out to about $0.18 cents a card. The blasters come out to about $0.20 cents a card. There's my guy Lars Newtbar. Now, we've talked a lot about this yesterday, if you weren't around. we talked a whole lot about 2022 tops. One thing that I really don't like about it, I, like, I do like the design. I think the design is really nice. I don't want to nitpick, but the rookie card logo is about 50% smaller than last year, which I'm not a big fan of. we got the Walmart blue right there, Archie Bradley. That's not going to be numbered, but it's still cool. we got a Tim Anderson foil. we got Don Trell Willis. And we got Stars of MLB, the exclusive retail set here, <clears throat> featuring Garrett Cole right there, Jazz Chisholm, Freddie Freeman, and Alex Bregman. So we get four of those. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of those. Um, just to tell you right now, I mean, they kind of look nice, but I really like the, the redos that they were doing last year. <clears throat> but it seems like they've done away with that in retail this year. Got Joe Musgrove, A. Eugenio Suarez, and in our first box, still no Wander. I'm hoping I can get at least one Wander for myself from this haul. Now, all together, what did I spend for all these? Let me think. So $60 for the blaster boxes, plus an additional $36 for the hanger boxes, plus tax. You're looking at $100 of retail on your screen right now. We're ripping through $100 bucks worth. And I'm hoping that, you know, if I could just find one Wander parallel, that's that would do it for me. That would be very, very well worth it. <clears throat> now, the let me do one more uh, hanger box. Then we'll get really dig into those odds for you guys. I have, how many different hanger boxes did I grab? I think I have three different hanger boxes. Total, we'll look at the odds on those. And they range from 2019 to 2020 to 2021. So we'll walk you through that after this one then we'll get into those blaster boxes still no wander oh boy look who it is it's corbin burns which means wander should be next and there he is wander franco my very first wander franco for my personal collection love it 
This card is, uh, this was selling for 40, 50 bucks on eBay on release day. Now it's down to about 20 some dollars, but still that's pretty crazy for a Wander base card. Everybody wants the Wander card and I want it as well, which is why I wanted to uh, take this video spot for myself. Also want to put this set together. So I need to accumulate a bunch of base cards. So it's a little easier for me to do it. Got Michael Brantley right there. Man, I cannot get lucky with flipping these around. There we go. Mookie Betts, Bobby Dalbeck, Future Star card. We will have another live break. If you missed out on our jumbo break of this product, Saturday night, we'll be back with the Saturday showdown, breaking a bunch more 2022 Tops jumbos. And you know how that works. It's a box war, so you go head-to-head -head with each other by the pack, and whoever gets the lowest numbered card gets all the cards in the case. We've got a nice a foil card of Vidal Brujan, which is a nice one. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that one up. And here's our stars of MLB. Got some repeats right there. Pete Alonso, greatest hits, Jose Altuve. Eh, so probably nothing else the rest of the way because we got the Wander right off the bat as the second card in the hanger box. Really, um, I've talked about the rookie class a bit. Not really too much to get excited about. It's pretty weak. Um, you got Vidal Brujan and Brandon Marsh, who are like two and three or three and two, depending on how you want to shake those guys up. But they're not, uh, they are just way, way behind Wander Franco. Not even in the same stratosphere as Wander in terms of star power. Before I break the last hanger and get into the, um, get into the blaster boxes. I want to remind you, we're going to be breaking open this hanger box tonight. It's Throwback Thursday, folks. You get a bonus video with this. I was super happy to find this. So you got two videos. Today. Actually, three. We have an auction tonight as well. I'll be auctioning off a bunch of cards. Let's take a look here. Back in the back in the day, let's start with 2011. With 2011 Tops Update, the Tops Gold cards, you used to be able to find them. Where oh, Where's the odds? Tops Town was one in every three... Why can't I find it? Sometimes it takes me a little while to read through this. Base card variations. Hope Diamond, Short Print, Cognac. Where's the Tops Gold? I should call Heather downstairs and find it for me. Um, Top Diamond Duos, Platinum. So here's the all the older odds. Now, I'm not seeing a Tops Gold there right now. I was hoping I'd, it'd be a little bit faster. But I, I do not see it on there. Maybe for whatever reason, they didn't list it. I got platinum on there in the diamond anniversary stuff. But anyway, we're going to look at this right now. Now remember, this was one in every eight. Okay, one in eight. Now let's go back to 20. Let's start with 2019. One of my kids opened this box up. I never opened the pack. It was one in every seven. Okay, that's not a big, that's not, so really no big change there. Wow. One in every two? Look at that. In 2020, it was one in every other box. That was a 2020 Series 2, and it, with a 2021, it was one in every three. So I don't know what was going on with uh, 20, 2019, but uh, you could see that over the last couple years, that's a, that's a big increase in print one. From one in every two with this to one in every three to now one in every eight. That's one of the things I've just kind of noticed that I just want you to be aware of that uh, the print runs of 2022 tops are, I, I don't know if, I, maybe maybe record breaking. I don't know what the print runs were back in the junk wax era, but they are extremely high, especially as compared to previous releases not that long ago to go from one in every two, two years ago to one in every eight. That means there's a whole lot more blaster box is being printed and it's uh you know it's across all different products of this release not only the uh not only the hangers but with the uh the, the hobby boxes those went from one in 14 packs for a gold to one in 38 the jumbos went from i think what was one in eight from last year to one in 12 so definitely an increase just want to uh you know just want to tell you if you're a collector it doesn't really matter too much to you you're gonna you know, that's actually a good thing. There's Wander and, and Vladdy. I like that card a lot. That's a good thing for you because, you know what? You're going to be able to find the cards a little more often. And also, the more they print, the less the boxes are going to have uh, in terms of resale value. So the flippers aren't going to be able to make a big profit. Hey, we got a Chrome Garrett Cole right there. That's a nice one right there. Rodolfo Castro, I'd like to find that one 
Yeah, or I'd like to find Wander like that. There's Bo Bichette, Nolan Arenado, DeGrom, and Ronald Acuna Jr., Byron Buxton. And uh, looks like nothing crazy. I'm looking for that Corbin Burns. Need to find a Burnsy here. If I could find Corbin Burns, I'll have a second Wander, which would be pretty nice. If I find another Wander, I'll probably toss it into the auction tonight for you guys. And uh, nothing else in that one. So now we're going to get into the blaster boxes. There's 99 cards in a blaster box of Series 1, just like always. And like always, these are only $20 a box, $19.98. Now, let's get right to it, folks. 1 in 38 packs are going to have a gold card. If we go back to uh, 2020, the Lou Bob release, Luis Robert, it was 1 in every... Look at that. 1 in every 9... Oh, man, one in every nine to one in every 38? I think that tells you all you need to know. Let's go to 2021. Somebody smashed this box in, so I never opened it. It was one in every 27. Huge print run increase right there. And uh, with Series 2, it was one in every 14. So this uh, blows away all the other boxes there um, in terms of gold. If you're curious about 2019, it was one in every 13. One in 38. So the gold card's much harder to find. Again, those gold card uh, runs, they stay the same, virtually the same. It goes from 2021 to out of 2022. And uh, they're much harder to find the same amount of cards, which tells you more packs have been made. That's that's the logic behind it. So again, here's all the odds. Let me get the the, uh, the cellophane off. You can see really tough to pull the golds now, one in 38. I am on a mission to eventually find a Wander Franco gold or parallels of some sort. Now, on the break the other night, when I opened all those cases, I did find plenty of Wanders, lots of Wanders. And by the way, it looks like they're putting the manufactured patch, which uh, I, I maybe there is no manufactured patch. Where's that information at? Oh, there it is. Uh, one exclusive commemorative relic card. Now, usually they would always put the checklist there, but that's not there this time. Kind of interesting, switching up. And you know what? That feels really thick. That's going to have that manufactured patch. I'm wondering if it's going to be similar to what we saw in the jumbo boxes. Out of the jumbo boxes, it was uh, it was like a, a city flag or something like that for the, the city that they play in. That was Lord Ace Grail. Brandon Marsh, who's like the number two rookie, but honestly, I'm not even sleeping him up. But basically, for me, it's all about this guy right here. Wander Franco, stars of MLB. Nice, uh... Rainbow foil card right there. I was hoping when I saw the set that I would be able to find this card. I don't know what this goes for on eBay. It, you know, if the base card worth 20, this one may go for 50 to, to 70 bucks right there. How about that for a nice pull? Wander Franco, stars of MLB foil. Love it. I was hoping that uh, when I saw those, I would find him today. Let's see what else we could find. Lars Newt Bar. We got a nudie right there. That's my second one. I'll put that one aside. Maybe I'll auction that off if anyone else is interested in a Lars Newt Bar. I feel like he's one of my favorite players now just because of that crazy name. Some of the Cardinals fans in the live stream last night said he's a folk hero out in St. Louis. There's Ian Happ, local Pittsburgh guy right there. Luis Robert, one of my favorites. We got the Hanser Alberta with the crazy eyes. Love that picture. And we've got a Luis Robert. Welcome to the show. Cool insert card there. And Freddie Freeman stars of MLB. Seven packs per box. <clears throat> That's the same as it's been for the past few years. Back in uh, back in the day, back in 2018 or so, it was always um, 10 packs per box with 10 cards per pack. They switched it up a few years ago. I don't mind it. It's not a big deal to me. There's stars of MLB. Alex Bregman. Three Alex Bregman stars of MLB in this video already. Too bad that couldn't be a bunch of wanders. I'd, I'd definitely take triples of wander over Bregman. I'm hoping I can find at least one more wander base card. That would make my day. Man, that would have made my day if that was wander. It's Vidal Brujan, though, who's still a nice rookie, but not worth nearly as much. As Wander, here's our next box. We got Zach Wheeler, Rodolfo Castro rookie card. Again, I really hate the tininess of the rookie logo. They made the names bigger this year, which was great. 
but they reduced that logo. There's Pete Alonso. Now for our last pack from a blaster box. It should have that commemorative patch in there. I'm pretty excited about checking this out. What do we have here? I, I like that they put it in, in the packs. It almost feels like you are, you know, pulling a hit. Kind of replicates that same kind of feel. Looks like it's going to be the very last card. Wow. Look at this. It's a Wander Franco patch. How about that? A Wander Franco patch. Very nice. Commemorative jersey number medallion. So, I mean, it's not going to be worth a ton of money because it's a manufactured patch. But uh, I'm pretty excited to pull three different Wander Francos in this uh, retail review. I'll take it. A player jersey medallion. Now, usually with the medallion sets, they make maybe like 20 to 30 cards in each set. And uh, that's pretty awesome right there. A rookie patch of Wander Franco. Kind of, a, kind of a really generic, boring design. Just literally throwing a number, the uniform number in there. Didn't take much effort to put that together. But Wander Franco has been very good to me in this video. And I'm going to hope to find one more. And now I am thinking the last two boxes, folks. I'm going to super rip them here for myself just to uh, save a little time. I love doing super rips. Usually utilize this method whenever I'm doing large breaks, typically of like, uh, you know, hobby packs. Might do a stack at a time. It just uh, also lets me read through the chats and stuff as I'm just ripping open packs. We were live for about four and a half hours last night. It's a very busy time around the baseball card hobby right now. Yesterday was like opening day, and uh, we're not slowing down with 2022 tops. We got the retail review for you right now. Well, a Saturday showdown. I'll have a bunch more cases for you of the jumbos. All right, here we go with our next box. Give me a Corbin Burns so I can find a Wander Franco. Come on, box. Craig Kimbrell. I see that hair, and I sometimes think, oh, that's that's a Corby, but it's not Corbin Burns. Cedric Mullins, 30-30 guy. We've got Trey Mancini. Ben Gamble for the Buckos. Matt Chapman, Andre Jackson, one of 46 rookies. And there's that boring man. These are so boring. The best medallion cards in the last five years were 2020 top series two when they had those rookie card medallion logos i think of no that was those were the coins it was series one of 2020 tops that had the medallions and alex bregman manufactured pat show otani's not a bad one right there i'll take that one another shohei otani gavin sheets a lot of my white socks um viewers out there always say hey you got to put him in your top five gavin sheets son of larry sheets he's a good one jaron duran most folks have him in the top five i think right now i've got him at number four but that's you know that's debatable that could always change it's going to be whatever rookie you know starts out the season on fire and somebody will there's a nice raphael devers he had a great season last year and here we go with our last little stack here can i find one more wander before Wrapping this up, there's Adolis Garcia. Home run challenge. You pick the game of Bo Bichette, Stars of MLB card. Let's see what else we've got. Jared Kelnick, Adam Frazier, Jesse Winker, Ryan Sandberg. There's Nolan Arenado, Shane McClanahan. Good old Clanny right there. I like Shane McClanahan a lot. There's Fernando Tatis. Uh, Max Freed. And starts, I like that one a lot. It's a Luis Robert. It is a Chrome Luis Robert card. And Jacob deGrom is the last one. Final box of this video. Here it comes. Let's do it right now and see what we've got. Do the super rip style. No wonder from that last box. 100 total cards. There's 330 cards in the set. So your chances of pulling a wander out of a box are roughly a little less than one in three. Probably about one in three and a half. Especially when you figure that out of the 100 cards, you're going to have probably seven of those stars of MLB in there and then some other insert cards. So it's probably actually more like one in four blasters are going to produce a, a wander. So I got three. I'm hoping for one extra wander. Can we find them? I'm hopeful. We've already got three wanders in this video. One base, one stars of MLB, and one manufactured patch. I'm happy with the haul. Let's see what we can get out of our last box. It'd be really nice to find a parallel. As you've noticed, we found zero numbered cards, I think, out of any of this. 
Out of any of this stuff, I've opened $100 worth. I don't think I've pulled one numbered card. We did have some parallels like this blue. But um, really, numbered cards really tough to find with the increased print runs here. Matt Chapman in there. Hey, how about that? Luis Robert. Just my luck, folks. Luis Robert, of course, one of my favorite players. Wander Franco, of course. I'm looking for him like crazy, and I got both of them. Two of my manufactured patches. I'll take that for sure. There's Shane McClanahan once again. Nice Nolan Arenado 87 top style card. There's Chris Bryant. And let's see what else we have. So personally, now I've seen the retail. I've seen the hobbies. I've seen the jumbos. And uh, I, uh, I definitely prefer the jumbos over anything else. I think most of you are probably with me with that. Maybe. Maybe not. I love the extra silver pack they give you. I love the extra chances at the parallels. Parallels, definitely, if you like those. It's probably jumbo for you as well. As we close this video out with our last little stack here, we've got a Seth Beer rookie card, 87, another Raphael Devers. And at least I got one base wander. That's really what I wanted. And I got some bonus wanders in there as well. Hey, Luis Robert, that's a nice card right there. I will definitely take up tops on their pick the game challenge and hope I can win an exclusive Wander Franco card. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Remember, we've got this box we'll be doing a little bit later tonight for Throwback Thursday. Also have an auction. I hope you guys... Like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to tap that notification bell and then click all because whenever I go live or post a new video, which is every single day, whenever it does go up, you'll get a notification on the YouTube app so you don't miss anything. Uh, we've got, I think, 22,000 of you have hit that notification bell. Uh, I really appreciate that, guys, for tuning in for all of our videos. So thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in a little bit in our auction. Good night, everybody.